Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Today I had to give a reaction about the comments yesterday where I talked about my self-sufficiency farm. When you do not see the video, I talked about the actual situation at my farm that I can't handle the situations with the situation with my farm animals longer like I do it before. So I talked that I had to reduce animals because they are too much and the costs are too high and I had no long, longer a um, balance between what I give and what I get. Actually I had too much animals and the cost for food for the animals is too high. So I talked only about my sheep. I had also um, rabbits, um, geese and chickens, but they are no problem. I had too much sheep and I had to reduce them. I had to give some of them away and I had to kill a few of them. Um, and I talked, I asked you if you want to see the process of slaughtering or not. And of course, I know that there are many different opinions. So two parts. One part said, yes, I want to see it. Is it is a normal process and on self-sufficiency farm, food doesn't grow in the supermarket. And the other part said, no, I know that the slaughter process is exist but I don't want to see it and I've got many 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 comments and I want to thank you for all those comments the most of them was friendly and constructive um, some was bad <laughs> um, and you discuss a lot um, you talked a lot about this team um, and I do not write so much comments yesterday because I cannot write so much like I want to say about it. And because of this, I want to make today the small short video for you to talk about my decision. And um, if I want to show you the slaughtering process or not. Not all of these comments under the last video were was friendly. Some people are very radical and wrote bad things to me. So, um, like, I thought you love your animals and then you kill them. I don't want to have any hate speech at my channel. So bad, really bad comments are very, very short, <laughs> deleted. Um, if you want to say me some bad things, if you want to say that you cannot understand me or you don't think that it's a good way you are absolutely welcome um, I don't want to have only positive comments here at my channel but if someone may case speak they can't be here um, I also had no problem with veggies it is absolutely okay for me when someone make the decision to do not eat any more meat it's absolutely okay I can understand them um, but you you can live and let others live. So everyone should make their own decision if they want to eat meat or not. I eat meat, but I want that my animal have the best life as they could have here at my farm. So and when I had to kill them someday, I know they had a good life there or at the fresh air the whole day. They had sun, they can walk around like they want. Um, they have good food, so they live the best li life as they can. But it is a farm and the animals are not here only that I can cuddle them. They are here because I want to have something from them. I want to have eggs from the chicken. I want to have uh, the meat from the chickens and a leader from the sheep and meat from the sheep. This is why they are here. Some people said to me that it's impossible to have this farm as a self-sufficiency farm because I had not enough animals, not enough space 
And this is absolutely right. I never talked about that I have a complete self-sufficiency. I can't let grow toilet paper or coffee or rice. So I had to buy all those stuff. But I had a complete self-sufficiency in meat, in fruits, in vegetables and eggs. So I never had to buy something from this only when I want to have a fresh one like a um, fresh apple or fresh um, wine berries or something like that. So, and your opinions about showing the slaughtering process or not was very difficult. Um, and you talked about, you talked a lot about it and I cannot give everyone an answer because I want to say too much about it. So I never had the dream to have a cuddle farm with animals that I only want to cuddle. It is absolutely normal that I had to kill them because then otherwise it would be too much of them and um, I give them so much. I, I had to give money for food, I had to give my time, I had to give the space and I want to have something back and for me it is absolutely normal to have animals, kill them, eat them. The only important point for me is that I had a good life and at my farm the animals had a good life. I wasn't sure about showing you the process of killing or not because of this I asked you yesterday if you want to see it or not. And after all your messages I take myself a lot of time and thought about it if I should show it or not. And I make the decision that I show it not. Why? One point is that there are enough videos about self-sufficiency, about killing animals here at YouTube and if you are interested in, you find enough videos for that. And the second point, and this is the important point for me, is that I like my animals. So I cuddle them from time to time and I want to, that, that they have a good life and I don't want to show their death only for a few clicks here at YouTube. This had to be with respect for the animals. Um, and when I show them in the last minutes, I, when I show them, when I kill them, and so many people can see it here at YouTube, this, this, hadn't, this, this is not showing respect for the animals, showing respect what they give to me. So they give their life for me that I had meat, that I had leader and all those stuff. And I had to respect this and this included that I can't show it to you. I'm sure you can understand my decision and know why I have this opinion. So I had to kill them. I want to have this meat, but I doesn't show it here at YouTube. And you see in the future also from time to time self-sufficiency videos here from my farm because I, want, I do not want to reduce all my animals and kill all my animals, only um, a lot of sheep because, yeah, it is not on balance anymore. And um, yeah, I want to thank you all for your friendly comments about this um, video and yeah I got a lot of answers <laughs> and some people write me their own stories if they have self-sufficiency or grow up at a farm or what they think about um, the process from growing meat and um, it is always nice to see much comments like this because the most time I've got comments um, like oh I love your videos your video was great but at this video I really had a discussion the, uh, you talked about yourself about your own opinion and this was really great and I want to thank you for this so you know now my decision and why I came to this decision um, why I want to choose another way and um, yeah I'm sure you can understand it and I also want to say again respect each other the people who eat meat and the wedgies who wasn't who don't want to eat meat it is okay so respect each other 
Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for hearing my words about um, this part of self-sufficiency. And I hope we see and hear us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.